Yeah, Martin Luther King was in Alexander Park Atkinson Co-op yesterday, and he had a poignant message to give to the people of our community, and his message was, vote. And I remember in the, the mid-60s into the late 60s when, when his father was pushing through, uh, going to jail, beaten by police, rounded up in a coast it attacked by the white population, all to prevent him from voting. The civil rights movement, in essence, was so that people of uh, marginalized people in society could vote, that black people specifically could vote. Here we are now, almost 40, 50 years later, and we're still pushing each other to vote. As I drive around the city now, I see black, brown faces on posters, and we never had that in the 60s. And we suffered a lot. So prisons and microcosm of society, and since my audience is there's people interested in the prison system, I will say this. When I first went to prison, you couldn't even get your disclosure. You had no contact with politicians. You had no recourse for your anger or your civil rights abuses except to riot at that time. So they instituted, uh, the Trudeau government at the time, instituted policies that made changes. He created a, 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 a law within the law and then a succession of governments pushing again, were pushing against the governments, allowed us to vote. And that was a game changer because prisoners in prisons across Canada have the right to vote at provincial and federal elections. And they utilize that right, not in Massey, as most Canadians don't go to vote in Massey, but they use it enough to change the course of their destiny. A vote counts. And oftentimes a vote placed properly can be the, the deciding vote that counts for your future. So I say all prisoners should vote, but all the supporters of prisoners, the families of prisoners should also vote in order to get the politicians in place to create the laws to make Canada a safer place and a better place to exist in as a citizen and also to do time in because a country is measured by how it treats its poor, its mentally ill, and its prisoners in this country, our Canada, it allows its prisoners to vote so that once they get out, their vote had counted for something that they wanted to do in the future, no matter what that is. So a lot of people say, why should I vote? All the politicians are the same. If you don't vote, then don't say anything. And I say that to the guys inside because I was one of those guys foremost pushing for voting within the prison system, being on inmate committee chairman for so long. And I used to say to guys, if you don't vote, then don't complain about the policies that come and affect you. And the policies do affect you. Voting is, is, is something that every Canadian citizen should do so that they can take control over their future by putting in place the representative that they want it to share their concerns with the governments above them and around them. Vote, man. Vote. Your life depends on it. Martin Luther King went to prison so that you can vote. Other people had died, Ralph Abernathy, other civil rights leaders at the time died so that you can vote. And for their deaths to go unheeded because you just don't want to get up that day, you just don't feel like walking two or three blocks to sign a piece of paper and say, I vote for this person, it steps on their graves, man. And that's what the civil rights movement's about. There's power in the vote, vote, vote. Vote, vote, I did, rest my case.